My name is Thomas Middleditch, and I play Harold Hutchins for Captain Underpants Film. Harold is, uh, I, he's, I would probably peg him as the slightly more sensitive, slightly more introverted one of the two, although they both kind of like to get up to no good. Um, but, you know, at least how I've identified him as the, the little artist in their sort of writing duo. I actually share that in common. As a boy, I used to draw comics, and we, I had a couple of friends that we would hang out and we'd, you know, like, what do we want to do? Oh, we'd, let's just draw our own comics. We would sit together but draw our own different comics. Uh, so in that sense, per, perchance, I am my own little Harold Hutchins, although I didn't have a George Beard sort of dictating what I should draw. I think what's fun about them is they're not taking themselves too seriously. If, if you want a message, it's there, but it's not super overt with it. I think why it appeals probably to reluctant readers is that it's not trying to get too dense with anything. This is like a fun story about two kids who like to kind of get up to mischief and maybe learn a lesson along the way, but even that's not important. It's just like, let's do some jokes and have fun. The sort of main villain comes to town, Professor Poopy Pants. With a name like that and with a, with a sort of short fuse that Poopy Pants has, it makes him a very apt target for pranking. And they see that it kind of balloons, you know. <laughs> he, he is a secret supervillain, but like I think by prodding him, um, he reveals his true colors. I think their whole message is like, life is absurd, it's, it's okay to laugh at it, and it's definitely okay to laugh at yourself. Krupp is like, he represents rules, authority, no fun. I mean, I think he has like rules about not smiling and no fun and stuff like that. Like he's, he's authority turned to 10. And so that is the total antithesis. That is the venom uh, to two boys who just want to like goof off. Um, the reason he doesn't become the villain throughout is because a, he's a bit bumbly. He kind of like, he's easily undermined. And also he straight up becomes Captain Underpants. <laughs> and, uh, and at the same time, a true villain comes to town in the form of Poopy Pants. It's so funny to talk about this. I mean, like, you know, and, and uh, Poopy Pants, of course, comes to town. So we've got to deal with him. I mean, it's just ridiculous. What Harold and George end up learning is that Krupp is just super alone. And if you really want to get armchair psychologist, I guess, about it, is that he's probably like this because the world has been mean to him and this he lives in sort of a lonely world. And so when they realize that Edith kind of maybe has a thing for him, they, they do a, a prank for good, as they say, and bring them together. Captain Underpants is just a, gosh darn it, it's just a feel-good, wacky comedy about kids who will their hero that they made into a comic book to life. And lo and behold, the perfect adventure comes because an actual supervillain is there for their newly minted hero to fight. It's quite different, actually, than a lot of the animated films that are kind of out or have been out. David really held the balance of making sure we told the right story. And if things weren't working, we went in and figured it out and changed it. I mean, I think a lot of the cast came in multiple times and saw versions of the movie and like gave notes and both he and the executives all really took them to heart, which was kind of cool. Um, not to say that I can say that I <laughs> helped write this movie, but like they were into having the input in order for things to shift and become more cohesive. And that also happened in the room when you're recording. Like, you know, we just make sure that we get things on the page so that we get the the actual flow of the story, but we spent a lot of time just like just coming up with either alternative ways to say the straight the straightforward things that need to be said in order for the story to continue, or just like alts in terms of bits and jokes and punch up.